Hello, dear guests. Uh, I want to welcome you to Jonker Selpent at Aero in Friedrichshafen 2025. So I want to give you a quick overview of the two gliders we are showcasing here. So I'm, my name is Katrin Senne, I'm the representative of Jonker Sailplanes in Germany and I'm responsible for the office and all sales in Europe for Jonker Sailplanes. So let me first introduce you to our flagship, which is the J3. Here we have the J3 RES in 80 meter configuration. So, so far we have sold about 260 J3s already worldwide and we have here the electrical self-launcher which was the self-launcher developed together with um, Solo. So Solo uh, certified this electric self-launcher as the first one on the market and the REST system is also used by Shenford in the Ventus to say. So maybe you want to have a closer look and I show you how you operate the rest, which is quite easy. So maybe we let the, the camera turn around here. So to operate it, you just put the master switch on, which is this one. Then the DCU will fire up and will start the system. So here on the top, you have the batteries, left and right battery, which are at the moment about 33% full. Then below you have the temperatures sh showing for the engine and for the, the controller. Here is the engine temperature and the controller temperature. And here you get warnings if the controller temperature gets too high, then you have to reduce power. So in this case, we use uh, MRUX with a water-cooled controller and we have um, 40 kilowatts on board, which easily self-launches a 570 kilogram JS3, also on, what, on wet grass pistons, it's not a problem at all. So the, the distance you need for a self-launch is very short and it's just very powerful if you give full throttle at a 50 kilowatt in the beginning. So once you have your safety height, then you can reduce your power uh, below 40 and then you have a climb rate of about 2 meters per second but if you use full power you have up to 3.8 or sometimes 3.9 meters per second. So maybe I just want to show you how we can take the retract the engine. So I have to take the people away. Sorry, sorry, come on, I'll back in. Danke. So this is the system, how it retracts. and closes the doors. Now I open them again for you. So you just have to click once here the toggle switch and then the whole engine comes out. And once it's out, you just turn the, the knob here to put power on. And you stop it again, that's it. And to retract, you just push one toggle switch down once and then it does everything automatic. It's very easy system to operate. And what is the advantage here? I think on, the, on this system, so we use um, 223 kilogram heavy batteries which you can take out of the fuselage and charge at home or somewhere else. And also in winter you, you don't have to, or you, you can take the batteries to a warmer environment, so it is better for the life of a battery because you take, can take them easily out. And also if you're at the competition and you don't have a power supply available, you can take them out and charge them in the hotel or whatsoever. So therefore we have these cases here and you can transport them then safely in the, in the car and to lift them up. All right, so here you see the 18 meter configuration of our J3, which has a glide ratio at about 57. And it's also available in 15 meter. It's also quite a popular glider. And now I want to show you the newest invention and which we have now the first time on the Aero and in Germany is the JS5, which just arrived last Friday in the container. So come along and have a look.
So, may I introduce you our latest flagship glider from the production of Yonkers sailplanes. This is the J5 Ray with a wingspan of 24.4 meters. It is the new ship in the Open class, which have, has already participated at the last World Championships in Uvalde in 2024. But the container just arrived last Friday and it's the first J5 now uh, in Europe. So this is... Come closer and I will show you the engine. So this is the J5 with the 60 horsepower um, solo two-stroke engine with automatic power shut off engine shut off all redundancy systems in which is a powerful and quite reliable um, engine to operate. Yonker Sailplanes is at the moment busy in certifying and finalizing a balanced uh, system to balance the engine so that the vibrations which the solo has from 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 always on that reduces then the, the, the shaking of the engine by 80%. But at the moment it's not implemented, but it will be implemented in a few months, then it should be ready, a balancing system for the engine. So maybe you want to step closer and have a look at the cockpit. The fuselage is, is longer in dimensions than on the J3. It is a little bit more narrow here on this part at the knee section but it is suitable like this for also bigger pilots and we have a, a automatic best rest adjustment here with a with a gas damper at the back so you can easily adjust the seat position also during flight uh, the engine operation works quite simple so we also have uh here the engine system you just turn it on it is developed by alex nav together with um js so the engine operating system is developed in cooperance with alex nav and js and solo and it is very easy to operate so you just have a main switch off and on and then the other switch is to retract or to extract is the middle position and then you have a run position and once you're set up then you just press the starter button which is located on the stick and we have three fuel tanks in the js5 so we have a eight liter main fuselage tank and then we still have a left wing tank and a right wing tank for fuel which is each 17 liters so you have a quite a lot of range to go with uh, fuel in the wings and in the fuselage. So the, the, the glide ratio hasn't been measured as yet, but they predict it's close to seven. So I will retract the system now. It's just one toggle switch, which has to go all the way to the bottom. The propeller, so if it is in, in run position, you just switch the toggle switch to the down position which is called extract then the propeller stop will come out automatically here in flight then the propeller will turn until it hits the stop and once it had hit the propeller stop it will just retract automatically that's it